think it's time for more power steering fluid. I got to get my things on lock. Meaning I got to get my things together. I've got to focus and gather my bags, if you will, my intentions. I have to release my tensions. For me, connecting to the elements. Ah, most refreshing. For some people, this is chaotic. For me, I dance here in this bliss of wonder. Some have called me a mystic. I've never been one for labels or identifications. I simply call myself Trina Christine Mason. It is my birth name from my mother, and I suppose it is my corporation that is I in America, since I am in all capital letters, and I have a serial number that is on the stock exchange, from my understanding. But no, let's not talk about parasites okay so right now I'm on a journey downtown St. Augustine my intuition is leading me out so is my hunger my hunger to grow and kill my comfort zone and face myself and tonight I am wearing a bodysuit it's an old vintage suit that I picked up at a place called The Way We Were. If you're from St. Augustine, you'll know this as a vintage shop. Now, it was sold to me as a bathing suit. Do you think I care? I mean, come on, romper suits are sold like this, and this is like a club suit. I'm going out to a club, all right, a bar. I can wear this. I'm an entertainer. <laughs> However, part of me wanted to strap my diver knife to my leg. I'm not sure if that's allowed because it's not like you know hidden it's very well displayed <laughs> I'm not sure how the legalities of weapons work but again I'm also interested in mixed martial arts and learning how to kill with my hands shall I ever need to perhaps you might know a three-minute video I could watch that might be able to teach me such a tactic should I ever be in the need to have to defend myself for someone not to care how I feel and try to command their presence with my presence. My present moment, oh man, it just feels so great to be in control of the wheel and to be driving and to be head somewhere that I think I want to go. I will admit I'm extremely nervous because spirit guides me, I will be handed to select individuals and I will be trusted with their spirit with mine and I don't always know what I'm doing and I struggle to talk and communicate it's part of my autism <laughs> so it's complicated being human <laughs> autism <laughs> <laughs> or if you can say the uh, incarnation of the genetic memory that is animal DNA that is also simultaneously mixed with my DNA. I don't know what scientist friend I have out there that can actually prove to me and take out my DNA and prove to me that there's not like microfibers of animal strings of DNA inside my DNA since like my animal consumption and plus like all the vaccinations and things like that. I just want the guy that can prove me wrong. Like you can narrate at me all day long, but I just want a test. Just show me a blood test. Or like, I don't even know how you test DNA. Maybe you should help me learn how we test DNA first. And then we'll get into that, okay? But like, some of that is a joke and subconscious. But also like, literally, if you can tell me that. And we can like, look at my DNA in a certain way. Like, it really grinds my gears and turns me on. Like, you know, it gets the machinery going. Where I'm like, curious. And I want to learn and know more. And elaborate. And expand my consciousness. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I am most grateful.
I am apologetic for my lack of discernment. There have been many times that Great Spirit or God has guided me to not do something. You can only imagine how many times I'm like, why? And I have to see for myself. I can't lie. I am feeling that feeling right now. Like maybe I shouldn't go downtown. Like I might learn something really bad or see something bad. Or there might be some negative energy thrown my way. The warrior in me tells me I still I must serve. When I close my eyes, I see exactly where I need to go to. Hopefully I have everything I need with me. Hopefully I have a thumbtack in my car. Maybe you could tell Trina to keep like a Ziploc bag of thumbtacks in her car. I have tons of thumbtacks. I just need somebody to be like my reminder, my fire. Be my fire, I just really need a reminder. If you could remind me, hey, are you in school? Harass me until I'm in school. Make sure that I find out what school am I going to next. I think I want to pursue acupuncture, but I need to start with an AA. But I need like a team that's constantly going to make sure that I'm paying for classes and I'm going to classes and I'm doing it. I mean, there's very possibility that I have grants because of like my intelligence and just like my grades or whatever. Like there has to be somebody that can cover my stuff. If not, I am willing to pay with the intention of expanding my mind and growing myself as a person and going through these exercises that are known as curriculum in our society to be considered a sense of self-worth and the value of education. Oh, I brought thinking fast and slow with me so I can read it. I can't lie, part of me wants to start over and read the beginning because it's been like four days since I read it, but I'm sure it's there in my consciousness, but... Maybe I should read it a few times if I actually end up liking it, but to begin, it's kind of like chewing on paper. It's like, oh God, I got to chew on all these words, especially words that are like extremely intellectual instead of listening, or should I say reading, but when I read, I listen, right? So I'm like not reading a fantasy story, right? No whimsical stuff. They're not mentioning the word satyr. They're not mentioning um, any anatomy, anything like that. Oh. It's a lot more thinking involved, which is good for me because I enjoy thinking and keeping myself busy is important. I feel a level amount of stress. I feel like I'm sensing too much what's going on in the environment. As I mentioned, I think I said out loud, it's extremely dark outside. Like, (coughs) you can tell the storm is coming now or that it's like on the outskirts or there's something being brewed up or I can't even explain to you what's going on okay I can just feel it and I can feel it the most in my ankle yeah I guess it's for the metal so I guess I can say thank you to the metal for letting me know what's going on in the electromagnetism before I do but yeah part of me wants to be 100% human and have no titanium and to know more about my ankle and yeah to have additional x-rays bunch of different ideas oh I'm just switching switching hardcore switching so many motherboards and there's so many different um, experiences happening in the gyroscopic procession or in the planetary movement whichever way you choose to give language to the experience some call it astrology or astronomy understanding the vitality of each nature is important But why should I stress the vitality? You must have your own vector. Maybe my big words aren't good enough for you to focus your heart, your toroidal field. Sometimes I can't help but go into the scientific measures because it's important for people to know that I'm not just talking up bum bum. I have so much love and so much to serve. It's important for me to keep up my process, but you have to know that like, I'm not paid by anyone else but you. So you are the one funding me and loving me and showing me which way to go. And you're showing me what my purpose is, what I did for you. My purpose is what happened when I was with you. Did I make you feel small? Did I talk down to you? Did I build you up? What was I for? What did I do? 
Did I embarrass you? Did I make you laugh? Did you think I was stupid and you turned away? It's the principle. That was my purpose. Did you feel smarter than me for a moment? Only you know how I have served you and what purpose I have held in your life. Please tell me my purpose. What is my use to you? Why should I live? What am I doing? Maybe you had an experience with me and I gave you a certain energy or a vibe or a feeling or I did something for you. I did some type of reading. I'm having a very strong difficulty giving language to what I do and who I am. My friend told me today the word personal consultant. I think it is rather appropriate. You know what? I'll just I'll just go this way. Oh, my left hip ovary. I'm feeling so many emotions. I have all of this um, genetic memory I'm working through from my ancestors. And frankly, it's extremely painful. Mm. I'm emitting a lot of fear right now under my armpits. I wish I had some essential oils in my car fix that but I guess I'll just have to wipe my armpits with my hand and then sniff my hands and like triple check my aroma see how bad it is and also wipe away the stench right let's just go down it's not that bad but yeah I did I did smell me for a second I love the fresh air Sometimes the sounds aren't the most pleasant, especially when it allows me to tune into other people's cars and toroidal fields and experiences. And sometimes I don't like being around other people's like universes within themselves. And sometimes our cells clash and we share and transfer light and information. bikers that are just riding their bikes in the streets of St. Augustine. I'm also wearing earrings tonight for the first time like in almost forever since I had MRSA. Also maybe I should state publicly that I've actually never had a blood test or a verification from the hospital that said I had MRSA. But anyone who has been intimate with MRSA will know and identify my experiences as journaled as MRSA. It's just a version of staph infection. One in four people have it, it lives in the nose, and most people just have no forms of expression of it, or they're so small you just don't even notice it. It does have a tendency to express itself when there is an overabundance of sugar and wheat and things of that nature instead, and um, like yogurt, instead of um, like being balanced. My city is extremely dead. It's just filled with a bunch of locals. I'm not like here to manipulate tourists or people or anybody into sales, but I am here to be of service if anyone would like to have a reading. You know, sometimes you do have to be comfortable and ask people, would you be interested? Because sometimes they don't know that's what you're offering or that's what they're drawn to. Commanding the boundaries. I need to trust my intuition and lead myself accordingly. I don't only do card readings, just sometimes it's the only thing that makes people feel um, comfortable. (sighs) Sometimes it's the only thing that makes me comfortable, to be honest. I mean, I originally started with card readings because I didn't feel comfortable just telling people what I was sensing and what I was, like, clearly feeling and clearly hearing. As they narrated certain words to me, my intuition would point me in another direction. I admit I have to return to my center more. And for me, when I go outdoors, a lot of times it is a way for me to connect to source. Uh, I'm so shy, but I'm hoping to come out of my comfort zone and be comfort in my body, especially in this body suit. Maybe this suit isn't for me. I don't know, like the boobs thing is really weird I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word I'm sorry for being so blunt but basically the way this suit is built it has like um I don't know like these cup things that are like pointy I don't know how to explain it other than that language I'm so sorry um Oh no. 
are they doing, bro? Oh no, I can't ride downtown. I'm so confused. Oh, that's confusing. No wonder why it's dead. Nobody can park and come downtown, and if nobody knows how to get there that way. All right, let's explore. Hmm. It doesn't look like I'll be generating income based on a public appearance tonight, even though my intention was to come out when the live music had started at 9 p.m. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous of rejection. Um, I'm driving in a comfortable area, though. I like I spend a lot of time skateboarding out here and being out here. So I'm going to try to access St. Augustine in another way. I'm turning left on Bridge Street. Man. And now I'm coming up to, I think, St. George Street is what's next. I'm on Bridge in St. George. Can I drive left up St. George? No, it's one way. All right, I got a Virginia plate in front of me, dude. I would love to go to Virginia and go see the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's all I want to do. It's all I want to do. It's all I want to do. It's important. It's so important. I need another white Azazu light. I need one so bad and I want one from there because I'm crazy. And <laughs> I want a reading from there. I want to spend some time up there. Oh my God. Guys, all the roads are closed. Like, there's no way of accessing downtown. I'm going to have to walk by this construction and get, like, an investigation. And, then, you know, not really. But, like, yeah, my ego and big nose is just wanting to know, like, what is going on? How come I can't drive in these normal places? I had all these expectations. And now, God, you're making my skin itch. And I got to pick at it. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of tension. And yeah, I could really use a massage. I'll buy one soon, I promise. I got somebody I can trust. I think I got some things I need to take care of though. I'm seeing some clear boundaries. I'm still processing a lot of traumatic, like, past abuse and PTSD. And, like, I guess I didn't respond in a very violent way. And I froze instead. So I'm kind of always conflicted between, like, the barrier of all of that. All the forms of expression. God. Rawr, 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 rawr. I have no patience. So I just drove like 30 minutes. Feels like. Stuck at like a double red light here. I can show you. I know my windshields are dirty. I need to put my car like some water in there. I need to treat my car better. This is my first car. I don't really know how to treat a car. Ah, but this is my car. It's making all the noises. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. I never really cooked anything today. My sink is filled with dishes that I don't feel like doing the work to clean. But yeah, my house needs mad energy put into it. I'm like, who wants to pay me to clean my house? Send me 20 bucks and say, clean your house. <laughs> Send me $2, I don't care. Just tell me, give me an excuse. God, I can't receive for nothing. God. <laughs> my ego, dude. Sorry, am I not going fast enough for you? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, dude, 
No, I messed up. I'm Nick. Oh. I just want to park somewhere differently. Okay. Yay! All right. So I've arrived safely. It's time for me to go on a journey. I love you. Maybe I should show you um, my face and say hello, goodbye. How are you? I'm shy. Hold on. Make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I wish I could see like what you see. Can you see my butterflies? Butterfly hair clips, got my one of my favorite suits on. Got work to do. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. If you love me, you can show me, speak with your actions, make it so I don't have to work so hard all the time. And be so awkward and say hi, my name is Rina. I'm here to help you if you want me to. Um, man, I really need a phone tech. Oh, I got it. Oh, and I got juggling balls. This would be a great night. Let's go. Let's go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care of you, okay? Namaste. Jai Guan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.